All right, bring it in. It's Wednesday. You know what that means? It's the what and the why with Kai. <laughs> What's up, y'all? All right. Again, I want to congratulate you on all these amazing how-to videos that everyone is doing, right? It helps me a lot. How to knit a blanket. How to make some delicious cream pasta sauce. How to make silly putty. Love all that stuff. Keep them coming because it helps me because I am not very good at doing things. But I have to do things a lot differently. You know how we roll here. So I'm going to give you the what and the why. And today's topic is the hinge. Hmm. No, not that hinge. The hip hinge. That's the what today. Y'all, we are functional trainers, right? So the hinge is so important. Answer me this question. When you go to sit down, do you sit down like this? Oh, no. When you do a back squat, when you put a weight on your back, do you back squat like this? Oh, straight up and down. No, you'd snap your back, wouldn't you? So then why are we lunging this way? Why are we trying to train this way? Right? The hinge is everything. Your spine, actually the neutral spine, is curved. So you gotta get a hip hinge to sit. You gotta hip hinge to do a squat. You gotta hip hinge. So important. That is why the hip hinge is necessary to all your functional training lunges, squats, deadlifts. Whether you're on a machine or not, you must hip hinge. I don't know any way that runs like this. How would you pick up speed that way? I'm really, I'm gonna be up and down, straight up and down. Yo, we have to hinge, okay? So, how do you hinge properly when you're doing functional training on a machine-based training program? Well, you're gonna to have to join me at GFA, take my lift certification, and I'll show you. But when in doubt, hinge it out. And if you need to know the how, hit me up. I'll see you next Wednesday for the What and the Why with Kai.